Now, so if I want to represent three different representations, I think the first and easiest thing to do, guys, is just to find any coterminal angles. So keep the radius the same, forget about that, and then just add and subtract 2 pi. Like that's a very easy way to find an angle that's exactly the same, or a polar point that's exactly the same, yes? So if I'm just adding or subtracting 2 pi in terms of 6, that's really adding and subtracting 12 pi over 6, right? So I'm just going to do this in my head real quick. If I added 12 pi over 6, I'd be left with 5 pi over 6. If I subtracted 12 pi over 6, I'd be left with negative 19 pi over 6. Yes? yes. Quick, easy. Now, if I want to graph this, I, I explained last time why that reflection works. Because again, when you, do, when you multiply this negative, remember guys, this 2, this is like a negative 2 outside of cosine negative 7 pi over 6 comma um, sine of negative 7 pi over 6. So what's happening is when you have the radius is negative, the radius is not changing, but that negative is, reflect, is changing the direction. It's not just changing the direction of the x-coordinate, it's changing the direction of the y-coordinate, which is basically represented as a reflection about the origin. So you could sketch this, find it, and therefore you can confirm it. Or another way is, if you guys just forget about the negative for a second, just graph 2 negative 7 pi over 6. So if I graph that angle, negative 7, so it's a negative direction. Here's 6 pi over 6. So if I go one more, I'm at 7 pi over 6. right? So again, that's a reference angle of pi over 6. I'm pi over 6 away from my x-axis. But then think about it, guys. This is a, our point, our problem is a negative. That basically means this angle is being reflected about the x and the y-axis. So really, my answer is not this one. But my point, which is a radius 2, right, is going to be down here. It's still going to have a reference angle of pi over 6, but it's basically going to be a reflection about the origin of this, of this original angle. Right? That's what the negative does. So now you have the point. You know the reference angle. Let's figure out what, let's draw, let's find this point based on the radius and the angle. Well, I could do. 2 comma, um, so I don't want to use this anymore. That's not a point. So I could do 2 comma negative pi over 6. I could do 2 comma uh, 11 pi over 6. Right? And then, I mean, then the options are limitless, right? You can just keep on adding or subtracting 2 pi. OK, so that's just a little, another way to look at it. All right.